What's the crack, lads? Welcome to our Blue Lock review. We're going to be reviewing all eight players plus Inzaghi and Kubo as a special little bonus. Going to be showing you the ultimate build for all of these, talking through the strengths and weaknesses of the cards, which ones we recommend, and of course showing you what skills to give them, which stats to upgrade. And we will show you also how to get your three free extra spins at these Blue Lock players. Let's go. All right, boys. So this Blue Lock collaboration is a brand new campaign that's going to be running until the 4th of April. And you can see everything that you get here. You will have all of this stuff waiting for you in your inbox. So you've got the new players that you're going to be getting. You also get a free spin as well. So all you have to do is claim that from your inbox. And when you click on it, you will get these players instantly. Uh, there's no grind in anything. You literally just get these players handed to you instantly. There's some good players in here, including Kubo, who I think is really, really good when he's on form. These all have a booster as well, which we'll get into in a second. The rest of the players that you see here, there's a selection of eight. So people have been asking me, how do you actually get extra spins? Well, the first thing to do is to go to the events against the AI. You're going to go into the Blue Lock collaboration event, and you are literally just going to play it. Now, listen... This is literally at the lowest difficulty level. So all you have to do is load up. It doesn't matter what team you are. Get a goal ahead. It doesn't matter how you score it. And then you can simply just hold onto the ball. The AI won't even track you down or chase you down. You can hold onto the ball and literally just press X at half time. You'll win this and you can rinse and repeat that two more times to get a total of three blue lock players. So now when we go back, instead of having one blue lock player, we now have two remaining as you see up here. And we'll spin those at the end of the video. In terms of reviewing these players, lads right a lot of people will probably say that these guys are not that good the one thing holding a lot of these players back is the fact that they've got low levels but they do have a very unique booster which is going to give you a plus three as long as you have got a squad link so for harry kane or any of these players if you have three or more players from the blue lock collaboration and kubo and Inzaghi are included in this you will get a plus three to the booster stats that you see here Kane has got a good stats, but as a target man, deep line forward style player, there are probably better options than him. I wouldn't really recommend training Kane up. Hoyland has got a bit of pace about him. He's kind of a unique card because of his physical contact. And there's been lots of gameplay tweaks and adjustments with V3.4. Whereas uh, Harry Kane is more of a physical player, he doesn't have the physicality booster that Hoyland has. So Hoyland has got a really nice mix of player skills, even though he's missing a couple. I will have at the end of the video the skills to give each of these players. I want to get through these players quick. For me, Kane and Hoyland, Hoyland is probably the pick of it, just for where the game plays at at the moment, and there are better GP versions. But if you get any of these players for free, they're definitely worth training up. The only problem is, as you see here with Garnacho with his booster, the only problem with all of these players, lads, apart from Garnacho and Rashford, in my opinion, um, and maybe Kimmich as well, they have such little levels that you can't really train them up massively, um, you know, mid to end game. Now, Garnacho is missing a lot of skills. You need to add a lot to this card that other wingers just have straight off the rip. Even somebody like Diaby or Grealish, that's a really good dribbler. Garnacho's kind of a weaker card that I think they should have improved him a bit. Muller, obviously, as well. We spun him on one of our accounts. He's got the hard worker booster. Again, when you get the plus three with his aggression and acceleration, he's still going to have very low uh, acceleration. So, yeah, these cards, in my opinion, especially the fact that Muller is on D rating, I don't really recommend to even train up Muller as of right now. You're not going to be playing him um, with this kind of system that you have him here with the D rating and the fact that his stats are just very, very, very average. The same would probably go for Moteng, who we'll see at the end of the video. But Kimmich is actually a really good, really good option here, right? A really good, really good, a really good option to have excellent passing straight off the rip. And of course, all these players as well are going to be getting that plus two or plus three, depending on the manager proficiency that you now have. We will do a video on the new manager proficiency. A lot of people are asking me about that. So, so far for me, I would say that Kimmich is definitely the pick that we would have here. Obviously, Rashford, I think, is a really good option as well if you have him, but the levels are an issue. These are really geared towards newcomer uh, accounts. You know, they're geared towards people that you could start the game now, you're going to get your free Inzaghi, your free Kubo, and then you can grind and simply play a couple of matches against the lowest difficulty and get somebody like Bruno Fernandes who you can put in as an A attacking midfielder. You've got Inzaghi up front, you've got Kubo to stretch, and you're going to get maybe one or two other players there as well. No real defenders in this. It's mostly attacking players and kind of flair players. So they are kind of luxury items. As I said, you can easily get an attacking midfielder or even standard Pedri or Gavi or somebody like that instead of Bruno and he'll do a job for you. Very good skills though and I do like Bruno's card. 
Now, Rashford is kind of an interesting card, right? Because he's down as a prolific winger, left winger, um, left wing forward. Speed and acceleration and kick and power is very unique. That balance issue still there with Rashford with the lack of balance and the lack of tight possession. This means that you can't really run and gun with him. It's the same issue that a lot of cards have. And as Konami start to tweak the gameplay a little bit more, boys, I feel like that this is going to even be more important. Now, you can still give him soul control and he will have the ball roll for a very unique, powerful shooting left winger, which is why I do like Rashford in here. And Moteng, of course, as well. This guy, lads, I genuinely wouldn't even waste the XP training him up. Now, what you could do is if you do spin Moteng and you want to get that plus three boost to Inzaghi and Kubo or Rashford or Garnacho or Kimmich or whoever you get, you obviously only need three players. You don't even need to have him in your squad. I think he is a kind of a weak uh, version of the card. Him and Muller are probably the weakest ones. I know that the AI does a lot for you if you are using Muller, but I definitely think there's better target men CFs here. But you are going to be getting him for free if you do spin him. So you, you, know, you don't lose anything. Now, when we do actually spin here, we're going to get our two players and we'll see what our look is like. I'm not going to spend too much time on this because I do genuinely feel that these GP players... Uh, or these players are similar to the GP players. We will have at the end of the video um, the skills that we will put on these and you can pause the video at any time that you want and you will be able to check out the build that we have. Just bear in mind that we, even though we get Garnacho here, um, just bear in mind that we are going to be taking these training guides with the added booster and the manager booster as well so there's going to be a plus five to the booster stats and a plus two or three in some other stats so what i always do now lads right and it's a good bit of advice for you as we get two ba manchester united players back to back and get in united bruno and garnacho not bad pulls what we're going to be doing now when we're training cards lads right I will just give you one bit of advice as we kind of learn the new kind of like stuff that works in the game, right? There's Harry Kane's build with 32 progression points. And I'll just let this video play through while I talk to you, right? And give you a bit of advice. While the game is kind of up in the air a little bit and there's so much changes to the AI, the way the players react, the movement of the players, the way that they've tweaked certain stats to do different certain things, they've added new animations. We've streamed a lot of the game so far and we're still kind of scratching away at it and, and seeing what really works, right? I genuinely feel if you want to understand and become more knowledgeable about how to train your players you need to actually forget about the manager booster and you need to forget about their actual booster itself. Train the card so that he's very proficient, as strong as he can possibly be, and then use the manager and the training guide booster as really the, you know, the icing on top of the cake. You know, you still have to have the card really viable. If the card on the DB here that you're looking at doesn't check a lot of the boxes that you want, it's not going to be enough to paper over the cracks if you're missing a lot of skills and you need to invest a lot of skills in. Now, we did say that we would look at Kubo and Inzaghi. I am going to do a specific video on Kubo player review. I'm also going to be doing a specific video on some of the classic number 10s. And also, we have covered the premium Inzaghi, but we will be featuring this video where we cover the free Inzaghi as well. We've already covered the premium Inzaghi. Let me know what you guys thought about that video. But we're going to be going into doing kind of like how to retrain these players with a couple of tips. But that is just a really quick guide to that. Now, we have the, the eight players lined up here. These are my thumbs up and these are my thumbs down. That depending on how much XP you have... I wouldn't really bother training these cards that I have thumbed down, depending on your squad, depending on where you're at. If you're a newcomer, all of these cards are free. You might as well use them, you know? Um, but if you're pushing up the ranks a bit and you're trying to be competitive, this is my opinion on that. So it's kind of a mix between it. So let me know what you guys think. I will be back very soon. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. Let me know what you think of the style of the video as well. Something a bit different, but I will talk to you in a little bit. Peace.